it's, it's a combination of both fear and ignorance. When, when, when we pick the, the ignorant, they are afraid to come closer to you because they think by so doing they will be infected. Eating with you, touching you, accompanying you, feeding you, washing your clothing, they will be infected. So if somebody comes to me that he's, uh, he has been stigmatized in his church, uh, I, what I will say is that uh, can he boldly go to the church, declare the status to the church, and use the platform to educate them because they are doing this out of ignorance. Take any, any food at all, you take it. You are okay with it. Take it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay. I'll explain. You mean, Frank, clap for yourself. You are asking much intelligent questions. All your questions are very intelligent, yes. We are very happy to be here in Mom's Pride International School in Ashama, Ghana, and to talk about HIV, educate our little generation that are coming about HIV. Because when they have the information now, they will grow with it, pass it to the next generation. And it is very important because children need such an information. Because HIV, whether big or small, can come in, you can come in contact with HIV. This is Reverend Azuma, and I am HIV positive. I'm, I'm living with HIV for the past 11 years now. Someone may ask, hey, and you didn't die? Yes, I will not die. I will die at the Children age of 19. Children think that, or people perceive that, when a person lives with HIV, by shaking him, eating with him, you'll be infected. But amazingly, after giving the education today, all these children have taken away that perception away from their mind. And they are ready to come in contact with a person with HIV, but before it was not yes, so. Yes, last two. Then I'll take from the teachers now. Yes. My number. Why? You, you want to get my number? Okay, I hear. I'll, 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 I'll give you my number. If Action Plus, Action Plus Foundation is being supported, we can be able to reach out to those people. Then together, we can break the stigma. Because if the stigma is not break, people cannot go for treatment. People will continue to be hiding in their bedroom and they will die. If the stigma is not broken, wives cannot come to tell their husband that I went to the clinic today and I am HIV. And the husband will say, oh, no problem, there are treatments. The wife is afraid to tell the husband that I am HIV. The husband is afraid to tell the wife that I am HIV because of the rejection that will come. Wow, we will not sit down for people to die. We will come out boldly yes. to say it, to, to be an example for others. Maybe our story will touch your heart and you will save a life. Yeah, it is wonderful to visit schools and educate the children on HIV and AIDS. And my telephone number was given to the student. So in the evening, a lot of them was, were calling, congratulating me, and they even tell their parents that a man came to their school and was educating them on HIV. And their parents also call, and that is the power of the education in the school. In the church, they say it's a case, it's a punishment. People try to give so many negative names. The members in the church try to mention these negative names, which directly have effect on me. So what happens is then I have to leave the sin, I have to leave the church or leave where such a thing is taking place. When people come to me with HIV, uh, well, I normally see them as people who are disobedient to God, and God is punishing them. So they have to carry the punishment till death. When they come, I pray for them and I send them away because I thought that they are under curse. So they have to go and then obey uh, the burden of the curse, and they finally they die. So I send them away. 
I know Reverend Azuma for the past 15 years. So we are very good friends. Yeah, and we are all uh, the preachers of the gospel. So for some times, in fact, I, I've not been seeing him. So when I met him, he, he told me that the wife got sick. So they've taken her to the prayer camps, the hospitals, but the situation gets so worse and worse and worse. So finally, uh, they found out that she was HIV positive. So I thought, well, prayer can solve the problem. But uh, to my information, the more they pray, the more the situation become, so, become worse. So through him and him educating me, now I've now found out that the HIV is not a case or any demonic disease, but it is a mere uh, uh, virus. So now I broke down to the camp and then looking at them. So I advised them to take the test, the HIV test. So when they are positive, in fact, I, I take very good care of them. I even take them to the process of getting the drug and I don't serve them away. In the last two years, from uh, 2005 to 2007, we realized that the most important thing for us to do is to set up a project that will, will confront the stigma, discrimination, which was a, a very big barrier to HIV intervention in the country. And so we were looking for resources. So I met Pastor Zuma, who disclosed his situation to me. And then I tried to train him to raise his awareness, to boost his morale. He told everybody, this is my situation. And because I had the opportunity to have my test done, myself and my wife, we are now assessing treatment and we are now fine. We are doing well, we look very healthy. And that was the first time that people rushed to come to have their HIV blood test done. Papi Ki two keys. Okay. Okay. Meeting you. Pastor Frey has played a very big role for my coming out because he told me you are not the only person with HIV. There are thousands of people living with the virus and and they are living their normal life. So why can't you do something to help your society? People are dying, people cannot come up, therefore people are dying slowly. And if you are living with it, your coming out can touch a life. Your coming out can save a life. The, the senior pastor, frankly, was very caring initially. Later did we know that he, he, he would turn to be negative. We invited him into our sitting room. The one I told him that, Reverend, we went to the hospital and this is the result. Then he said, wow, John, you have disappointed me. That was the first reaction. Then you can't work with me. That was the second statement. You have disappointed me and you can't work with me. So he just left me from the, from, from the sitting room. Then Sunday, he mounted the pulpit to announce to the church. And that was the beginning of the stigmatization. That was the whole beginning of the troubles, the humiliation we passed through. It was very terrible. We have to relocate. Even when my children want to go and buy full stuff, people refuse to hold the money because they believe when they hold the money, they will be infected. So it is, it is unbelievable. The, the stigma is very strong here in the country. Stigma is the main barrier which is working hard against the people of the country assessing treatment and also going to have their HIV blood test done. If you say all the be match, be blear, a be how. Then so it be a yari be a war, one self, so be a doctor, unco, a bet my fatigue, and only friend HIV. So the be match, be blear, but yanny, and I say yari be a war, no to me here, you say yari be. 
They say fever, and now Maria. On this one, one 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 too much, you follow women too much, you get. And apart from that, it is a sickness that when you have other sicknesses and you don't take care of it, then it turns to HIV. That's what he knows. Now, what do you say of Yanya, HIV will ever happen? Maybe. But it will work. But it will work. But it will work. It will be a one year to get to me. Maybe. 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 I will I will I will to me find it. Okay. I've asked him whether he has heard about somebody who is HIV person in this community before. He said no. I have heard it in town that people are HIV positive. And I asked if he knows that such people can he can he eat with them? He said no no. You cannot eat with them. Because when he eat with them, you will get it. Okay. And Oko yeah. now so, you are me as only in the day. Say, I'm it is his own brother. Can he eat with him? He said, No, he cannot eat with him. Okay, yeah, I come on, dear woman. Yeah, Matty said, Won't you see a woman HIV? I can't cry. I tell HIV, no, a yari. Now, yeah, bet you, yeah, from what you need. Even your president, probably to me, then. Now, a area, a virus, yeah, a virus, no, a power move, a two BQ system, no, and a way, and as you say, I'm in a meeting, a grub, and the any fever, and now, Yari, you and a two HIV, a virus. Now, do do only to me now, bear money or bar a double. Apart from that, I come out more jaw hospital so over to me then and you be over. If ya will be you zoo bleed and not sick kind of to me a channel, I also call you soa on a hospital to me then and you be a fine nipa head and ya ready. Yeah, what I was telling him is that HIV is a virus and anyone at all can come in contact with it, being a child. In our churches and in the rural areas of Ghana, people are not being educated about HIV, which leads to stigma and discrimination. Through education and empowering people like Reverend Azuma, we can challenge stigma.